What's up everybody? Welcome to the first official Jopa tutorial. Today we will be installing Jopa onto your machine. It's a very simple process, but there have been some people having issues with the installation. So I might as well just go ahead and make a video on how to install Jobot. Anyway, what you want to do if you aren't in the Discord, Jobot Discord, um, there will be a link in the description to join it. And then you want to head over to the announcements channel. And then you to install it, you just go and click this GitHub link, which will take you to this site called GitHub. Most of you should know about it. Um, which it sh if it says uh, should say Jopoth v 1.5.9 beta. Once you're here, you want to click this zip file and it's going to start downloading. Which I already have it, so I'm just going to cancel that down out. And then you're going to also want this. There's going to be a link in the description to this config.json file which um, <clears throat> there's uh, there has been an issue with the most recent joke bot that it is not creating the config.json so it just completely um, like it won't even open it'll just crash Anyway, once you have downloaded those two things, you're going to want to um, extract your uh, v 1.5.9 beta, which will get you into this, um, which will get you all these files here. Then what you want to do is just open up this jokebot.exe. <coughs> but it, in the process before this, you're going to want to have your own Twitch channel, which you should already have. And I am hosting somebody, which I shouldn't be. Anyway, you're going to want your own um, Twitch channel, and then you're going to want a bot Twitch account, which will be what your bot is. What you want your bot name for, um, for people requesting it. Request and stuff. Anyway, my, uh, my is called uh, Jopot Tutorial, so we will be using that. Once Jopot's open, you're going to want to. Um, once it's open, then you're going to want to. Um, see, when you close it, it instantly just crashes and it won't let you open it. So then, what you want to head over to is you want to go to percent app data percent in your um, file explorer which will take you to this um, folder and you want to go to jobot and then what you want to do is you want to head over to app files and you want to take this config.json and you want to drop it in here then you head back into your jobot folder it and then just to test, and close it. See now it's not crashing. Anyway, what you're going to want first is you're going to want to get your Streamlabs socket, uh, Streamlabs API access token, which you can get by going to your, which you can get by going to Streamlabs.com. You're in, you're gonna click login and then login with Twitch. Right now, this only works for Twitch. Support for YouTube might come. We have no idea when or if we will end up doing it. And what you want to do is you want to um, take a look at this API settings, then you want to click on API settings. Then, in here, you want to head over to tokens. And it says right here, below is your current API access token that is used in the URL of all your widgets and also in some external tools to fetch your donation information. Make sure to keep this private. If for some reason somebody get, it gets into the wrong hands, click the refresh button and it will get you a new API access token. 
Now, um, I'm going to click, you want to click, click to show widget URL. And I'm going to blur this out because I don't want anybody knowing my access token. So then you want to copy this um, token right here and you want to head over to, back to your Dropbot application and then you want to paste that in there. Next, it says Twitch username, so you want to put, um, put in your Twitch username, your Twitch username, not the bot, because right underneath here there's the bot username, which you want to put in your bot username. Mine is Joe Bot Tutorial, and then for the bot OAuth token, one F. Um, make sure you're logged into your um, your bot uh, Twitch account, then you want to head over. This will also be, well, any links I save will be in the description, just so you guys know. Then you want to head over to twitchapps.com slash TMI, which will uh, get you your OAuth token. I'm going to click connect with Twitch. And then you want to copy this OAuth token, which will be your bot. Make sure you aren't logged into your... Um, main Twitch account, otherwise this will not work. I'm going to paste this in there. And then it should say start the, um, start button shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be grayed out anymore. Then this thing that says path to JSON file for filtering, which says optional, path to ch songs.json. The, um, a tutorial on how to get your, uh, how to set that up so people can request through jokebot.com will be in the um will be a next tutorial anyway once this is all set and good you want to click start then I'm going to head over to your twitch account your twitch chat and then if this thing wants to work it should pop up connected and ready to rock, or it'll come up with that. Make sure you allow any firewall to jump off. There we go. Now it's working. It says connected and ready to rock, and it should mention you. Now you can do everything such as like request. Um, that's the, like you're requesting through the fire and flames, and you can. Control everything like commands like play next or play random. Like play random. I should have played that song. Um, just a tutorial for ev um on how the commands work and every and tokens and everything for drop up will be in a future tutorial as well. This concludes the tutorial for uh, installing Jopot. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you have any issues, please put in, um, them in the comments below, and then we can get you sorted out. You can also just, if you have any issues, you can head over now to... Playing, which was requested by it said an underscore. Now it decides to play the, um, uh, text-to-speech. If you can also head over to the bugs, or the help channel on the Discord, which people will be there... Well, and we'll respond to you basic, um, like, hopefully right away, but if, like, in the middle of the night, we may not be able to respond. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have any issues, comments below. And we will catch you in the next tutorial.